Hey, welcome back for this week's Trick Tip Tuesday. And for today's tip, I'm gonna talk about shrinking and stretching and uh, what that means, uh, how it's achieved on different machines, and how you can use it on different projects to achieve uh, some certain things when you're metal shaping. So, um, shrinking and stretching is exactly what you, uh, exactly what it sounds like. You might think of shrinking metal, how do you shrink metal, how do you stretch metal. Um, you know, there's different ways to achieve it, but on a shrinking and stretching machine, uh, it's achieved by having two different jaw sets, um, one for shrinking, one for stretching. So like this here would be a stretching jaw and basically they look the same. These are shrinking jaws in the machine right now. So the stretching jaws pretty much look the same. The only difference is uh, if you look here on the shrinking jaws, there's actually a gap between the jaw plates. And so uh, when the shrinking jaws come together and there's that gap, as soon as they get pressure on them, they squeeze the plate squeezed together and pinches the metal together and squeezes it and uh, shrinks it up uh, together. So the stretching jaws are the exact opposite. So the jaw plates are together. So when they, when the jaws come down and they touch, they spread apart, which grabs the metal and stretches it apart uh, in the machine. So um, that is achieved um, on different machines. So uh, this JS tool shrinker, we have these metal uh, Lancaster style shrinkers and stretchers. Uh, this one has the different bolt in jaw sets. This one has one that's a shrinker, one that's a stretcher. Um, and then there's many other machines uh, that do shrinking and stretching. Uh, these can be, these are currently mounted on a stand that make them foot operated. Uh, we have hand operated models as well uh, of these that you can just bolt to a bench. Uh, and it's uh, a affordable, cost-effective way to be able to get some uh, metal shaping done with a shrinker stretcher. Um, we have the Eccled machines as well, and those are fully um, kind of pneumatic or electric machines uh, that takes away the manual power, um, you know, for doing more uh, production type shrinking and stretching. So as far as shrinking and stretching, uh, with these shrinking jaws, like I said, when they when you get the jaws that come together, they shrink the metal together and uh, pulls the metal in a way to curve the metal. So this is a totally flat, straight piece of uh, aluminum here, uh, 063 thickness. So to show you how a shrinker works, if you shrink just the edge here, it's gonna pull, it's gonna pull the metal in a curve this way because it's gonna pull the edge in on this side, which is gonna curve this. So if you put this in here, do a couple shrinks on it. Now I'm kind of going a little extra hard just to really make this a little more dramatic so you can see it. And there you go, how that was nice and straight is now curved because it grabbed the edge where I had it in the jaws and pinched this together to pull this material together and curl it up that way. So um, yeah, so that's the shrinking aspect of it. Now. Uh, let's say on this Lancaster style, uh, we got the stretcher right here. So if you take the stretcher jaws and do the same thing, uh, it's going to, I'm gonna do it from this side. So it'll, it's gonna stretch this edge here, which will push it around this way. So um, let's get this in the machine. We'll do just the half of it again. We'll just keep wiggling this around. Moving this in and out of the jaws. Now, you have to be careful when you're working with a machine like this, that especially when you're stretching, that you don't stretch too much too fast because you'll actually tear the metal. It will tear the metal and put a, um, it'll either ruin your part or you can weld that tear back up uh, and fit it. So you can see how stretching this edge uh, did the same action is here but it stretched the metal out here which created that same curve so um, how these can be used in metal shaping so um, here's an extreme example this was just kind of a demo part uh, that i whipped up just to uh, show how you can use it on a so a 90 degree flange so this was a totally straight piece that we bent in a sheet metal break that had a 90 degree bend in it and depending on which side of the flange that you shrink or stretch uh, you're going to achieve different profiles 
uh, in different shapes. So um, if you're making the edge of a, let's say, door structure um, in a car, um, different, you know, edges of, you know, panels where you need to put a nice, uh, nice edge on it to where, um, you know, you're going to have a nice finished look, but you want that structure of having that, uh, that 90 degree uh, angle on there, you know, you can use it different ways. And, you know, when you get to the actual bend, I mean, it makes it really solid, you know, in certain ways, depending on, uh, you know, what you're working on. So um, instead of trying to weld an edge onto a piece, you know, if you've got a, a corner like this, instead of trying to weld your flange on here to add strength to it, you can bend a straight 90 and shrink and stretch it around uh, in order to uh, achieve the same thing. So you don't have to spend a bunch of time welding and metal finishing. So um, that would be one use. This would be another use. So uh, we have a panel here that we English wheeled. It's got a little curve in it this way. It's got a little curve in it this way. But you can see this one uh, has curved this direction, but this one's sweeping out in this reverse curve area. So um, to, to achieve this, this, these edges here were put in a shrinker. So it was shrank to curl it around this direction, whereas this edge uh, would have been swapped out to a stretching jaw um, in one of these machines or used in the stretcher over here and stretched this direction, which is going to uh, curve it in the opposite direction. So uh, there's different things you can use a shrinker stretcher for uh, in that realm to be able to achieve different profiles on a custom part. So, um, you know, shrinking and stretching is kind of one of the more basic um, examples of what you can do when you're metal shaping, because um, essentially all metal shaping comes down to either shrinking metal or stretching metal. Whether you're running it through an English wheel, a hammer, uh, all that, you're either stretching it or, you know, in a machine like this, you're shrinking it or uh, there's different other processes you can use to shrink metal as well. But for shrinker, stretcher machines, um, this is kind of the basic uh, idea of how they work, what they do to achieve uh, the results that you're looking for. So um, for more information on Shrinker Stretchers, check out our website at tricktools.com. Thanks for watching this week's Trick Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you next Tuesday.